You're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa extended his condolences to the family of Corporal Ammar Ibrahim Isa and wished the injured a quick and full recovery. Corporal Ammar died from injuries sustained during an operation to counter illegal fishing. His Royal Highness issued directives instructing all concerned parties to take swift legal action against those responsible. His Royal Highness affirmed that illegal fishing depletes marine stocks, disrupts marine habitats, disrupts the labor market by exploiting unlicensed labor, and undercuts honest fishing communities. His Royal Highness underlined that criminal activity goes beyond the act of illegal fishing, but also includes those who purchase illegally caught seafood from unsustainable and illegally sourced stocks. His Royal Highness stressed that the safety of citizens and residents and the preservation of the marine environment and natural resources is an ongoing national priority and that any encroachment on this cannot be overlooked. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Interior and the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen to immediately support the families of Corporal Ammar and those who were injured. His Royal Highness noted that the sacrifices of the law enforcement personnel and the badge of honor remains a source of national pride. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned a Najma Club, the champion of His Highness's Handball Cup for the season 2020-2021. This came at the end of the final match between Al Najma and Barbar that was held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khaled at the Khalifa Sports City Hall Stadium in Isa Town. And Najma won the championship cup and gold medals, beating Barbar 38 to 37, while Barbar won the silver medals. His Honor Sheikh Khaled expressed his happiness with the great levels of performance of the final match, which reflected the preparations of the two teams. His Highness congratulated the chairman and members of the board of directors of Najma Sports Club on this occasion. His Highness praised the efforts made by Najma team throughout the competition, which reflected the strong preparations and determination shown by its members in all matches. Appreciating the efforts made by the management of Najma Sports Club, headed by Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mbarak Al Khalifa. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, extended her congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on Bahrain Press Day. Zainal paid tribute to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for following up on efforts to support Bahraini Press and the continuous directives to enable the Bahraini Press to fulfill its professional and national duty. She affirmed the continuous parliamentary support for the Bahraini press and the cooperation between the legislative and executive branches to approve the law regulating the press publishing and electronic media in a way that contributes to supporting freedom of opinion, expression and responsible speech. The speaker appreciated the prominent role of the Ministry of Information Affairs in supporting the Bahraini press and harnessing all capabilities and facilities to fulfill its duty, praising the role of the Bahrain Journalist Association in promoting the profession and developing foundations of journalism. 
Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh affirmed that the Bahraini press was able to keep pace with modern media developments and means and work through distinguished press and media caters to consolidate their national roles, spread awareness and educate society. As Saleh indicated that the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa contributed to opening many bright horizons for the Bahraini press, making it an effective partner in promoting the principles and values of democracy and exercising freedom of opinion and expression in accordance with responsible national constants. The Shura chairman pointed out that the local press is highlighting achievements and successes witnessed by the Comprehensive Development March in Bahrain under His Majesty the King's leadership. As Saleh expressed his pride in the appreciation of His Majesty the King for the role of the legislative and executive branches and the constructive cooperation and coordination between them, especially in researching and discussing the draft law regulating press, printing and publishing. He stressed that the law will contribute to opening up wider areas for publishers and media institutions as well as creating opportunities for media creativity and innovation in proposing issues in addition to fulfilling the aspirations of media professionals to be a modern and integrated law. Under the patronage of the Bahraini ambassador to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the American Bahrain Friendship Society held a Ramadan banquet at the Adam Islamic Center in Washington, D.C. The Bahrain ambassador affirmed the importance of such gatherings in enhancing the principles of interfaith dialogue and peace. The society has been established for over 30 years and has contributed to the deepening of bilateral ties in all fields. The purpose of the organization is to promote friendship amongst the American and Bahraini people. So a lot of Americans have served in Bahrain at Fifth Fleet over the years. They've really enjoyed it, uh, but they also are, were looking for an opportunity to continue those relationships. And so we are growing again. Uh, we had a period of time where we didn't grow very much uh, because of all the activity in the region, but, but we can, we're growing now. And uh, there are opportunities to participate in events here in the United States like this uh, or in Bahrain. The society for me is a way to keep a contact with Bahrain. I have been back a couple of times for visits since I, since I left. But uh, this way I have a, a way to keep in touch and also to be in a group with people who have all had responsible positions in Bahrain in the past and all of whom have a very strong liking for the country and a liking for its people and a desire to remain uh, engaged with things Bahraini. Uh the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 772,205 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 562,453 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health also today said that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 12,021 with 1,120 recoveries, while a registration of new cases of 1,367. 515 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 836 are contacts of active cases and 14 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.